One of substance, I'm Ifeo Nyebile, and it's good to be with you again this week as we x-ray the activities surrounding the life of another woman. The regulars, of course, will be into Woman of the Week, Frank Talks, tips that you can use and scan the pages. Stay with me and um, you'll be here to find out exactly who's on the show today. <laughs> My guest today is a native of Patigi local government area of Kwara State. She has um, boldly taken a shot at the presidency of this great country on various occasions. She's a counseling psychologist and a politician of repute. Dr. Sarah Jibril is a woman of many sides. My interaction with her will tell you more about this woman who's taking yet another shot at the presidency come 2011. Stay with me. Ben. I'm Princess Sarah Adebisi Joson. The Deputy Governor, Lagos States, you are watching Woman of Substance with Ify. I'm interested, very interested in your desire to take another shot at the presidency. What exactly is giving you this push? Hmm. Well, it's nice talking with you. Thank you for taking interest in what the people will think it's a it, it's a daring mission and first of all i take politics as call it if i may use my own faith language as a ministry in political language you say it as a service to humanity but when you use the word ministry it means you have a divine understanding of your direction or focus in your destiny for your creation. Therefore, what I'm doing in politics is to ensure, and to maybe call it that, to raise these offspring, old and young, or remind the old ones, sustain the focus that is supposed to be of the growing ones and the upcoming and, and the future coming ones that the quality of being makes more sense than the quantity of things. Uh, you're the very first female presidential candidate and the only one yes. that has been so consistent, if I must put it that way. How well would you say that the women have keyed into what it is that you're doing and the vision that you have. People don't understand what women have come to. They think having political power is an issue of competition of, for self-aggrandizement. They do not understand that the quality input of women into politics has much to do with the policy formulation for the same offsprings, the products of the women. Women are, I, we are supposed to be in politics to, to continue to oversee what we started doing by from just a, a, a pregnancy, suckling, wearing, guidance, a, a rebuking, the discipline, and to ensure that we do have well brought up with good home training, to have good citizens that we now have, we empathize or empathetically come up with policies that will influence the human beings positively. So we are just continuing with our natural job. In other words, if the women are frustrated, vilified, and trampled upon, they don't have the type of flourishing ability to influence their offsprings properly. So they cannot bring up future youth, future husbands, future fathers that are effective from, at the family level and at all levels. Let's look at the people you're going to be standing against or standing side by side with in the PDP. Yes, yes. There is a General Ibrahim Babangida. There is an incumbent President yes. Goodluck Jonathan. What magic does Mama Sarah Jibril I, have? Myself. What is the I magic? Have, what, did I, do I have a track record? 
Do, no, the, the question that I want to be asked, and I think that yes, I want to be asking questions. Has any of us done anything that has hurt Nigeria? Have we taken anything that, 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 that does not belong to us from Nigeria? Have we shown examples of good home training to, to, to people? What is it that we are doing that is going to affect the character?